good morning good morning welcome back to my channel it is not that early in the morning but i am quite tired um my little one decided that she did not want to sleep through the night last night um so mommy's tired daddy's tired at work and little one is yawning she is also tired um had all intentions of waking up at like 6 6 30 this morning um just to spend some time with um with god some well-needed time in his presence some well-needed time in the word um but miss you know little miss didn't sleep through the night decided to wake up at 3 40 this morning and did not go down until six o'clock so mommy is tired um what what is it mommy is tired i definitely need some well needed time to get into the word because it's been a while it's been a while and i'll explain why it's been a while in a bit but yeah, um, I need to go to the store today to pick up some ingredients for um, chicken soup that I'm making today. And chicken soup the Jamaican way. Period. Let's get it right. I mean, there is no other way. There is no better way for chicken soup than the Jamaican way. I am sorry. I'm sorry. I'm just a messenger. Okay? So yeah, we're going to pick up some ingredients but Miss Little One here needs to take a nap first. So we're gonna put her down for a nap and I'm gonna make some breakfast because I'm quite hungry. And I'm gonna finish my coffee because I need some energy today. Um, I was completely thrown off by her, you know, <laughs> being up um, because I had plans. And so my day is just kind of thrown off a little bit. But anyway, we will continue, we will march on, we will take the day as it is and keep going. So I'll be back, um, I will see y'all in a bit. And I am back, um, baby girl is down for a nap. Um, I took a quick shower, got myself dressed, put myself together because we know with these babies, it's a race against time, it's a race against the clock. We don't know if they're gonna sleep for 30 minutes or an hour, honey. So I am trying to get as much as I can get done while she is sleeping. So what I'm about to do right now is actually make some things to eat, maybe a quick little egg sandwich, um, really quick. Um, and then once she's up, I'm gonna feed her, get her dressed, and we're gonna get out of here because the day is starting to go and I'm just like, okay, we need to hurry up. So yeah, so that's what we're about to do and yeah.
price is kind of charged. I swear, these MacBook batteries are just very, very. It doesn't last. Like, I don't know. I don't know, man. I am not tech savvy, so we'll see. What are we doing? What are we doing today? Let's see. Where are we gonna read from today? I've been reading from uh, Deuteronomy, honey. But honestly, like Deuteronomy is a little challenging, if I must say. Um, a little challenging, I must say. Um. But I think we should continue reading. Let's see. Deuteronomy. Um, Deuteronomy 11. thing about my girl in this stage is that she's almost six months so she's able to um just hold her bottle like feed herself while i get something done um it may not last a very long time but um at least i get something done in the moment that you know she is feeding herself so she is up so what i'm gonna do is make her a bottle before we leave because um, give her probably give her some time to um, to digest, burp, all of that stuff before we head out. And while she's feeding herself, I am just going to finish packing her bag. She doesn't really need much in her bag. She just I just need to put the bottles and um, the bottles in and her formula in there as well. So. She is staring at me right now as I make this bottle. She is ready to eat, honey. When she sees this, she's like, yeah, um, hurry up. I see what you're doing. You need to give me my bottle right now. Right now, right? <laughs> she's so cute. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and pack her bag. We really didn't, um, to be honest, did not unpack her bag since we traveled um, from Texas. So we're gonna go ahead and um, I'm gonna go ahead and just take these stuff out. I don't even know a change of clothes. These don't even match, but that's okay. I doubt she's gonna need it. This cute little sweatshirt. We keep that in there. We need more pampers. So need more pampers, um, diapers, pampers, and a baggie. Let's see what 
this changing thing has. So we got two in here, and we got wipes, or we have one, yeah, two in here, wipes, and all her stuff. Just extra stuff. We good? <laughs> um, boom. Bibs in here. These are old that needs to be washed. Like da da da. Portable charger. <laughs> oh my goodness. Um, okay. So her formula in there. That in here. Boom. A toy. And let's just make So bottles in, formulas in. Um, I need to get my wallet. Where is my wallet? Make sure my keys in here. Keys are in here. Boom. I need to put a pacifier. Even though she doesn't really take a pacifier right now. Like, she will spit it out. Um, she's teething, so she doesn't really take a pacifier. But just in case, and my husband will say better to have it and not need it, and need it and not have it. He That's his favorite for phrase for everything. So, um, so that's packed. What do I need to carry my wallet? Okay, so lotion, Altoids, chapstick, and mold. Okay, boom, boom, boom. Are you all done? You done eating? Are you done eating? Okay, I'm, while she's still playing with that bottle, I'm gonna go ahead and, um, Bring this stuff to the car. I'm gonna bring it to the car. Okay. So that's in. I just need to put my shoes on. And burp her, and we're good to go. Good to go. We are finally on the road. <laughs> Honestly, like sometimes it feels like going somewhere, especially when I go with Elena by myself, with my baby by myself. Um, it's like, oh my god, it's a chore. Um, but that's okay, we're on the road now. Um, we won't be long at the store um so it's just no biggie um but i didn't get a chance to talk about um you know why i hadn't been in the word of god and in the presence of god for um a minute for a while um last week we um traveled to san antonio texas my husband and i and the baby 
um, for a BMT graduation. Um, we were with um, my husband's dad, his stepmom, and his two sisters. So it was a full house. Um, it was a packed house. Um, and um, with these types of graduations, like you are constantly on the go. You have to wake up early. It's go, go, go. What's next? What are we going to do next? And all of that stuff. And I think, you know, um, we'll try to get breakfast, get lunch, and get dinner. And like, it was just a constant you know go 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 and I did not take a moment take a time to get into the word of God or to even acknowledge like hey God like I think I did it like one or two mornings and then the rest of the time I was just just completely just just not I was just out of it um but I didn't take the moment to to you know to get into the word or just kind of stay in the presence or just keep my mind on God, keep my mind on, you know, his word. You know, if we think about our relationship with God, if we think of it in a sense of, you know, um, getting to know someone, like if we're dating someone, we're getting to know someone, we're talking to them constantly, y'all. Like we are calling, listen, first thing in the morning, good morning, hon, good morning, babe. Okay, we are texting throughout the day and night. We're on the phone and we'll be up until midnight, one, two, three o'clock in the morning talking. That's how it is when we are dating someone. My husband and I, when we first started dating, honey, I was up till three o'clock in the morning talking to him. Talking to him when I had work at eight o'clock in the morning. Um, we were texting throughout the day. We sent good morning text messages. We acknowledge each other. If we couldn't talk for a while, we'll let each other know or we'll apologize. We'll be like, oh my God, I'm sorry. I'm going to be really busy for the next few hours. Like, our communication with each other was just so top tier, okay? Because we valued each other. We valued the time that we spend texting, talking with each other. And if we couldn't make it, you know, to hang out, We'll let each other know, but of course we will make up for it because we value the relationship. We value the time that we spend with each other. And I think about why do we treat God like that? Why do we treat our relationship with God like that? Where we will wake up more money. We don't even acknowledge God. We don't acknowledge him. We don't say, good morning, Lord. Thank you for waking me up this morning. Thank you for placing me in my right mind, stuff like that. We don't take that time out to do that. Why do we do that? When the relationship with God that we have with God is the most important, valuable relationship that we will ever have, truthfully. So, you know, I had to apologize and I had to ask for forgiveness about that because I did not make time for the, for God. I did not make time for my relationship with him. And if I behaved that way towards my husband when we were dating, they wouldn't have been a relationship, right? They wouldn't have been a relationship. If I woke up four days straight and did not acknowledge him, did not talk to him throughout the day, there would not have been a relationship. There would have been problems. There would have been issues. We would have drifted apart. So yeah, I think it's so important um, to acknowledge God, acknowledge his presence, talk to him daily, talk to him throughout the day. Um, <laughs> this girl. Talk to him throughout the day and make it a point to acknowledge him throughout the day yes baby what's wrong baby yeah i know we're almost there uh-huh we're almost there we are almost there my darling okay it's okay it's okay mama it's okay head into the store um so yeah 
<laughs> I don't know. She is a <laughs> What? <laughs> what do you see? What do you see? Do you see something? Okay. We're about to head into the store. I'm about to put her down so that I can put her in this carrier. And we're going to do a quick little little pickup, grocery pickup. Okay. Sit you down right here. Sit. We have to like readjust this whole thing because daddy was wearing it. Daddy was the one that was wearing it. So we have to readjust everything. It's so loose. It is so loose. I think what I'm gonna do is have her. It is so loose, honey. I'm already hot. Oh my god. Oh, what? Uh huh. She's mad about something, child. Yeah, I think we're gonna have to adjust these parts. All right, I'll see y'all when you get in the store. <laughs> We're back from the grocery store, and um, I'm just gonna show what I got from the store for dinner tonight. This man wants to be my video. So I got this pumpkin for soup. Um, got some cheese. I got these. Um, Jamaican soup mixes, so this pumpkin flavored and the chicken flavored. I got two of each. I got some carrots, some carrots. Um, and I needed to pick up another um, jerk seasoning, so the Walker's Wood jerk season is the best one. The best marinade. I got some scallion, some green onion. Um, Mr. Hubby got picked up some corn because for some reason there was no corn at the grocery that store. It was like pre-cut, but I didn't want pre-cut corn because they were like this tiny, and I don't like my corn like tiny. Um. And some tortillas, breakfast burrito, and a whole bunch of potatoes, and also some turkey sausage for the breakfast burrito. So I am going to start cooking. Um, I've got chicken in the fridge that needs to boil first, so I'm going to start cooking. And I also need to join in on my woman of worship group tonight we're doing quiz night bible verse quiz night so um yeah i will check in with you guys later um and yeah so i finally finished making a soup um my pumpkin was rotten on the inside so i could not add pumpkin to my soup in the background saying mm 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 well. <laughs> but yeah this is the, this is what we're working with right now no pumpkin but it's still pretty good I'm gonna end the day here it's been a long day and I am tired I'm feeling it right now so I just want to thank everyone for tuning in to this A Day in a Life video. I will see y'all next time.